Turns out, the fourth time, also not the charm. SpaceX had been hoping to launch its powerful Falcon Heavy rocket carrying an uncrewed space plane for the U.S. Space Force on Sunday. But poor weather conditions at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida forced it to shift the targeted date to Monday. Then, on Monday, as the evening launch window approached, SpaceX said it was standing down due to a side issue on the ground and would instead target Tuesday night. But, early on Tuesday afternoon, the commercial spaceflight company announced it would not be launching later in the day and is now targeting Wednesday, saying only that the extra time will allow teams to complete system checkouts ahead of liftoff. However, so far there is no launch. SpaceX's much-awaited mission to send the USS F-52 payload into orbit aboard its powerful Falcon Heavy launcher has officially encountered an indefinite delay. Yesterday, SpaceX personnel at LC-39A prepared Falcon Heavy for rollback into its hangar. Officials hope to launch before the end of the year, but a longer delay is possible. The important thing is that, in addition to unfavorable weather as before, the California-based aerospace manufacturer has paused the launch for additional technical evaluation following undisclosed ground-side issues. The advanced Boeing X-37B space plane set for deployment on this mission remains in healthy condition as engineers assess the next viable launch window. We're working through a couple of technical glitches with our SpaceX team that are just going to take a little bit more time to work through, said Colonel James Horn, Deputy Director of the Space Force's Assured Access to Space Directorate. We haven't nailed down a specific launch date yet, but we're going to have to roll back into the IHF or the Horizontal Integration Facility and work through some things on the rocket. Horn, a senior official within the Space Force team responsible for overseeing military launches such as the one in question, stated that the ground equipment issue hindering liftoff on Monday night could potentially be addressed by Wednesday. However, he noted that additional undisclosed issues would require more time for resolution. We found some things we need to run some analysis on, so that's what's driving the delay, he said. SpaceX was similarly vague in its explanation for the delay. In a post on the social media platform X, SpaceX said the company was standing down from the launch this week to perform additional system checkouts. There is a chance the Falcon Heavy might be back on the launch pad by the end of December or early next year. A SpaceX recovery vessel that was on station for the Falcon Heavy launch in the Atlantic Ocean is returning to shore, suggesting the launch won't happen anytime soon. We've got to look at the schedule and balance that with all the other challenges, Horn said. But I hope we can get it off before the end of the year. The delay in launching the USS F-52 comes after fluctuations in weather forecasting and previous postponements. The critical nature of the payload, an unmanned Boeing-made X-37B space plane, requires optimal conditions for a successful launch and mission. This space plane, earmarked for top-secret explorative tasks, stands as a testament to the cutting-edge collaborative efforts between the aerospace industry and the U.S. Space Force. As stakeholders and space enthusiasts await a new launch date, the significance of the mission remains undiminished, with the understanding that such complex endeavors require prudence over haste. When it's ready to fly, the Falcon Heavy launch with the military's X-37B space plane will likely get high priority on SpaceX's launch schedule. The military's launch ranges, like the one at Cape Canaveral, are primarily there to serve national security requirements, even though they get a lot more use from commercial space missions. It's not clear how long the plane will stay in orbit, but its longest mission to date, which ended in November of 2022, lasted 908 days before the aircraft returned to U.S. soil. That's nearly three years. The X-37B vehicle looks similar to NASA's now-decommissioned space shuttle, but is about a quarter of the length at 29 feet or 8.8 .8 meters, and like the space shuttle, it also makes a runway landing at the end of a mission. Though in this case, using autonomous systems. When the Falcon Heavy does get off the ground, it will mark the rocket's eighth flight since its debut mission in 2018 and the first since October when it deployed NASA's Psyche spacecraft to study a metal asteroid located between Mars and Jupiter. 
With its three boosters generating about five and a half million pounds of thrust, the Falcon Heavy promises to put on a spectacular show when its engines fire up, hopefully in the coming days. Those attending the site in person or watching the live stream can also witness the return of the rocket's two side boosters, which will make an upright landing at the launch site in a few minutes after launch. Next, putting the delays aside, there is good news. Axiom Space is gearing up for its third private astronaut mission to the International Space Station in less than a month. At a December 13th online briefing, Axiom Space, NASA, and SpaceX said they were preparing for a January 9th launch of the AX-3 mission, using a Crew Dragon spacecraft on a Falcon 9. Liftoff is scheduled for 8.18 p.m. Eastern that day, with a docking with the ISS at about 5.15 a.m. Eastern, January 11th. The launch will use the same Crew Dragon spacecraft and Falcon 9 booster as the AX-2 mission in May, said Sarah Walker, director of Dragon Mission Management at SpaceX. Both vehicles are on track with margin to support the AX-3 launch in early January, she said. Missing from the announcement, though, was where the launch would take place. All previous Crew Dragon missions have used Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, but SpaceX has been building a tower at nearby Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station to support cargo and crew launches. There had been reports in November that SpaceX would use SLC-40 for the AX-3 3 mission to avoid a scheduling conflict with another launch at LC-39A. Walker said that a decision on which pad to use for X-3 is still pending. We are nearing completion with preparations of SLC-40 to support Dragon missions, if needed, she said. That includes completion of the interior of the crew access arm and final external approvals from regulatory agencies. A launch from LC-39A, though, on the current schedule would clash with another Falcon 9 schedule to launch from the pad as soon as January 12th, carrying the intuitive machine's IM-1 lunar lander. That mission must launch from LC-39 39A since only that pad is equipped to fuel the lander shortly before launch. Intuitive Machines confirmed a January 12th launch date back in a statement on December 4th announcing the arrival of the lander at Cape Canaveral for pre-launch processing. That mission has a launch period that runs through January 16th. SpaceX announced plans last year to build a tower at SLC-40 to serve as a backup for LC-39A in the event a launch accident took the pad out of service. The company has more recently emphasized the flexibility that comes from having two pads that can handle Dragon missions. We're super excited to have this flexibility, and we did it because we're seeing the growing demand for Dragon missions, Walker said. She noted that LC-39 a would remain the priority pad for Dragon launches, but having the second pad available enables us to be ultra responsive to customer needs and growing demand by moving a Dragon over to SLC-40 when the need arises. AX-3 is slated to be a 14-day mission commanded by Axiom's chief astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria, a former NASA astronaut who also commanded the AX-1 mission back in April of 2022. The four are scheduled to perform more than 30 experiments during the flight along with outreach activities. We had more research than we could fit into a mission, which I think is a great example of how much demand there is for that kind of work, said Matt Ondler, president of Axiom Space. AX-3 is the third in a series of private astronaut missions to the ISS with a fourth, AX-4, planned for later in 2024. Axiom is also using the missions to gain experience ahead of the launch of a series of commercial modules it will attach to the ISS. Those modules will later form the core of a standalone Axiom space station after the retirement of the ISS. Ondler said in the briefing that the first of those modules is now scheduled to launch to the ISS at the end of 2026, about a year later than the company previously announced. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up, and happy holidays.